Good morning. Hey guys, I'm gonna take a quick second to thank today's sponsor, Vivrel, for sponsoring this portion of today's vlog. I'm so excited to be working with them. I've been a big fan for so long. If you haven't heard of them before, Vivrel is a luxury members only club where you can borrow everything in their closet, all designer accessories just for yourself. It's so cool because you basically have access to a whole nother expansive closet of some of your favorite top designer brands, whether it's a bag, jewelry, other designer items. You could scroll on their website forever finding your perfect match to borrow. So memberships on Vivrel start at $45 a month and that allows you to have access to their full closet like I said and there's actually no time limit on when you are borrowing an item. If you fall in love with something you're borrowing you can keep the item for as long as you want or you can swap it out as soon as you want as well for something new to try. Plus if you love it even more to actually purchase the item you get a special discounted price as a Vivrel member, I get discounts to Charlotte Tilbury, Four Season Hotel Stays, and even Barry's Boot Camp Workout Classes. So you can get a membership that's so much more than just borrowing from their closet, although that is my favorite part. I'm gonna show you the little bag that I am borrowing currently. It's so freaking cute, and I love it so much. It's this tiny little itty bitty special edition Louis Vuitton bag, and I am obsessed with it. I love the little red accent, and I have never seen this in store before so the fact that I can just borrow this from their closet and have it and use it as long as I want and return it whenever I want is amazing. It's been so fun to be able to style this and I'm wearing this today in today's vlog. It's just the perfect little bag to throw my lip gloss, cards, cash, like an everyday tiny little mini bag and I think it's so cute. I personally think this is a great thing to start especially if you have special occasions coming up or your birthday, something you want to celebrate and you can borrow that special item just for that moment. Of course I have a special discount and offer just for my subscribers. To skip the waitlist and to get 20% off your first order, use code EMILYJEANBEAUTY20 at checkout to get 20% off your first order and you get to skip the waitlist. I highly recommend you take advantage of this while it lasts just for you guys. I'm so excited again to be working with them and sharing such a great brand with you guys. I think you guys will love it. I'll have all the information in the description box just for a little reminder and for easy access into starting your membership. Again, thank Thank you to Vivrel for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Good morning guys. We are gonna get this vlog started. It's a Thursday morning. I look absolutely crazy right now because I did a little fake tanning contour last night. So I still have to wash my face, jump in the shower, all of that. But I'm gonna make my coffee really quickly because I need that. I am actually headed out in about an hour to meet my mom and my cousin. My oldest cousin on my mom's side of the family is getting married this year. It's so crazy. The last trip in Dallas that I went on, I didn't vlog it. Um, we were there wedding dress shopping. So if I have any like little footage I can put in, I will for my phone. But I totally did not vlog that trip because it was like just family and I wanted to be in the moment. I'm pretty sure today we're going to like a textiles place or like for like the table coverings and and anything like to do with fabric. So Maddie asked us to help her. That is definitely my mom's world as well as my aunt's world. And yeah, we've just been like doing this all together as a family to get all of our opinions going on. So I'm very excited. It's fun like kind of doing just behind the scenes stuff of a wedding because I've never ever done that. I've rarely even like gone to many weddings. So it's cool to kind of see 
you know, all the little things you have to pick and choose and figure out and even just the dress shopping in itself was such a fun weekend. So that's like the big thing for today, but then I also have a bunch of other work and like I have a regular Thursday I have to have. Probably gonna end up at a cafe once I'm back home to get a bunch of work stuff done. Either way, I wanna make my coffee, shower, get ready for the day, do hair, makeup, the whole thing. So let's get started and I'm gonna make a little Nespresso. For my Nespresso, I usually get my stuff on Amazon. I like the double espressos and then just like their regular coffee. I'm all out of my double espressos. So today I made this pod, which is just a regular coffee. I'll show you the name because I feel like if you're new to Nespresso or if you like just got one or if you're maybe even thinking about one, it is a little confusing just because it's like its whole own world on what is... The situation with the pods so this is just like a regular i think it's like a medium roast coffee but it always has that yummy froth on top and of course i just do a little half and half and then i also like the double espressos to make like quick little coffees or i'll make like quad shot lattes at home or make them iced so stuff like that but i need to drink this i need to wake up i feel like my allergies are starting to kick in for the spring summer i'm feeling it and i'm just looking crazy with this fake tan on my face so i'm gonna tie my hair up i washed it last night and jump in the shower do a quick little body wash wash my face do something with my hair put some makeup on and get ready <laughs> So guys, I totally forgot it's opening day for the Tigers. It's April 6th. So the city out there is already being very crazy. That's actually why I made my coffee at home. I really wanted to go out and get one, but I just know it's already going to be crazy out there. And I do have to walk to my car in the parking garage, which is usually a garage that a lot of event things people park at. Hopefully you can hear me with the shower on. The city gets crazy. I'm actually so excited, even though I'm not going. I just love the city, like waking up for the summertime, basically. It's so fun. We have all four sports down here, but I feel like because Tiger games are way more frequent, it just like it changes everything and it's the summertime and it just makes the whole city super busy so I feel like more regular people go to like baseball games like not just baseball fans while like hockey games I feel like it's usually like just hockey fans going to hockey games let me know what you guys think but either way I'm excited I think I'm going to a Tigers game next weekend so I'm very very excited about that I will try and vlog for you guys then but I need to get in the shower and shut up. Just this time. 
run Don't say we didn't I was your first love And you were my first one Cheers to all the memories The venom and the remedies, yeah Promise I won't forget, yeah Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't Alright you guys, I'm in a rush I have to get out of here Okay, the cats are running around But I have to rush over to my garage to get my car, obviously, and head over to where we're going It's like a 35 minute drive and I am running late So, I'm just throwing this jacket on from H&M This coat has got me through so much, you guys it just always looks so cute and it's the perfect like light winter springy fall jacket and I feel like it just elevates every look tie it up I have my big Jeffrey Campbell boots on a little red Aritzia bodysuit I think this white little shirt is H&M as well and then my pants are from Fashion Pass but I will put the brand name on the screen and I will make sure to have everything that I can find linked down below for you guys and then of course my cutie little Vivriel Louis Vuitton little mini bag how cute is this with the red bodysuit like this is a vibe this is a moment my first little Louis ever that I'm just borrowing but she's so cute and yeah you guys this is the fit my nose is running oh my god it's like actually running i need to take some zyrtec i'm gonna do my lips and mascara in the car at a red light or something like that i have fake tan on my hands probably from like sleeping and getting it off my face out of my hands and i need to put perfume on i'm gonna put this on just fell behind my dresser um i'm gonna put this perfume on i got this in cabo last spring and I feel like I've talked about it a lot, but I've never actually linked it for you guys. I've never found it. So I'm going to try and find it for you because I love this scent. It's very unique. I can't even explain it. Mm. We're ready. Got my phone. Got my maps on. I'm going to take the vlog camera with me. Um, I'm going to bring my camera charger just in case. And we are out of here. I'm back in my car. We just had some lunch at Coney Island. <laughs> I had a BLT, of course. And yeah, that was actually super easy. The little wedding appointment was super quick. We just had to pick out like linens, napkins, the chairs, and stuff like that. And she's kind of keeping it pretty simple based on like the venue and everything. So it wasn't too hard to think about. And I think it's going to look so good. I'm so excited. This is like the first big wedding on my mom's side of the family and just like being more involved. I'm going to be a bridesmaid. So it's just like the full thing. And I'm so excited for Maddie. It's going to be incredible but yeah we just had lunch and i i did like my lip liner halfway through i still haven't done my mascara i'm like still just kind of hanging on by a thread i need to get gas and oh my god my mom's sitting in her car right there i need to get gas and then i need to go grocery shopping i haven't gone grocery shopping since before new orleans so my fridge has just been hanging on by the last leg i've picked up like little things here and there but i haven't done a big run 
and I want to make a nice yummy dinner tonight for myself and a friend so we need to go grocery shopping get all the ingredients I'm gonna make steak and potatoes and like a veggie and this like sauce that I saw on Instagram for the steak so that is the plan I'm gonna make a little list while I sit here for a second on my phone and we're gonna head over to Trader Joe's do a little grocery store run, head home and get that all sorted away. And then I have like a bunch of just computer work I have to get done. So it's already one o'clock and with how far away I am, I'm going to be pushing it. But hopefully I can spend maybe like an hour or so at a cafe or maybe just work at home from my computer. Sorry guys, I had to charge my camera while I filled up the tank. The car is nice and full and I did just throw on my mascara and fixed up my lips a little bit even though... You know, we've already started our day. It's almost 2 o'clock, you guys. So, I really have to hustle. I'm gonna head to Trader Joe's, get all my groceries for dinner tonight, and then other, like, essentials. I just want to get, like, basics and then what I need for dinner and, like, keep it at that. Try and be as good as possible. Head home, unpack all the groceries, put that away. I have to film a sponsored section when I get home. And then, um, I'm gonna try and maybe walk to a cafe to get some other work done for a little bit. Just so I can really focus and grind on my computer. I have just, like, really boring computer work to get done i'm making dinner tonight but probably not until like eight or nine o'clock so i do have a little bit of time to work with i'm just talking out loud telling you guys my little to-do list out loud it helps me think so let's get the show on the road let's head to trader joe's i'm gonna try and vlog as much of it as i can um i have like a 30 minute drive there and then another like 15 minute drive back downtown so lots of driving today but it's a beautiful day out spring is on its way and i pray that downtown isn't it's gonna be crazy. It's opening day downtown. It was insane actually getting into my car this morning and to unload my groceries. I'm gonna have to find a parking spot close to my building. So these are the city things that you have to think about or that maybe you don't think about. I love it. I love like the little struggle, but it's definitely difficult on crazy days like this. All with that being said, I'm happy that it's opening day because that means spring and summer is here to stay and I can deal with all the craziness just knowing that the sunshine is coming and brighter days are ahead. So that's what's going on. I know. And I it's so it. frustrating. It's like messed up too because everybody. Right. Hi. <sighs> um, yes, please. Oh my God, I had you connected to my car. I asked for extra ice and they gave me no ice. <laughs> Ice? Oh my god. None. There's none. Ice. I have a giant coffee with zero ice. <laughs> Ew. I'm sorry. No, no, it's not your problem. I'm just like, whatever. Uh, I'm just gonna drink you it. Literally, you wanna hear my, of course, <laughs> yesterday? Mm -hmm. Hey guys, I was on the phone with Kelly and I stopped for a little Starbucks because I honestly really needed it. I only had my coffee early this morning. The roads have been absolutely crazy today. That's what Kelly and I were just talking about. I feel like every Everyone in Michigan just starts getting out of control the second it starts getting warmer out and construction is happening and plus just like the area I'm in right now is not is not my forte area there's just way too many highways way too many streets that I don't know of and don't you just hate like going out of your zone that you're like used to I'm at a Trader Joe's that's like not even the one I normally go to I was gonna go to the Royal Oak one which is my normal go-to but it just didn't make sense with the driving so I got my Starbucks they didn't put any ice in it when I asked for extra ice that's okay we're just having one of those days I needed the caffeine to get my brain working. I'm gonna run into uh, this Trader Joe's. I know it's gonna be like opposite of what I'm used to and that's gonna be a little frustrating. It's also super busy here. I think it's just because of the holidays with Easter this weekend. You always forget about how crazy things get around these holidays. Even though it's a Thursday, like you can tell people are already gearing up and I just feel like I'm a crazy person right now. So I'm not even gonna vlog in there, you guys. I'm just gonna run in and get the things that I need. I will read you my little list. I always write everything down on my notes that I wanna get. I usually like write the dish that I'm gonna make and then all the ingredients and then any extra like basic stuff. I'm making steak tonight with this crack sauce that I saw on Instagram. I've seen it so many different times. This is just a screenshot. 
but it's like a sweet Thai chili sauce that you do on top of the steak and it looks so good. I've never made a sauce like that with steak before, like an Asian inspired. That's like my favorite kind of flavor. So I'm really excited to try it. I'm gonna get steak and then for the sauce, I need red Thai chilies, which I don't think Trader Joe's will have. I'm gonna get the chili onion crunch because I need a refill of that. Shallots, garlic, fish sauce, cilantro. I'm gonna get mushrooms and broccoli as a side. I'm gonna get potatoes to make garlic mashed potatoes on the side. Um, and then I'm gonna make cocktails tonight too. I want to make whiskey sours. I've never made one before. Lemon juice, egg whites, simple syrup. I think I have a lot of this stuff already. I'm just like writing it all down anyways to make sure. And then I'm just gonna get some basic stuff like creamer, other like regular eggs. I think I'm gonna get egg white in like the container for my drinks and then also get like eggs for breakfast and stuff. Maybe some like chicken or bacon, just like basic stuff to have during the week because I always find myself like just going to buy stuff for the dinner that I'm gonna make and then I make the dinner and then I have no more groceries left. <laughs> so I need to get some like basic stuff as well. I'm pretty confident when I go into Trader Joe's. That is my go-to store. So we're just gonna get lots of produce, lots of basic stuff, stay out of the frozen section, stay out of the snack section, don't need any of that. That's where it gets more expensive anyway. So try and stay on the perimeter of the grocery store. That is key. I'm gonna go in, get this over with, and then we'll do a haul of everything that I got once we get back home. We still have lots to get done. I'm trying to stay calm. Okay, you guys, it's literally almost four o'clock and I am still in the car. I've been gone all day long. The driving took me so much longer. I've been on the phone. I actually did some posting from the car, like work stuff on my phone that I need to get done. So that's actually good. I'm very lucky that I can usually get like pressing stuff done on my phone or at least like have it set up to do on my phone. I do have more stuff I need to get done on my computer. When I get home, it's kind of stressing me out, but we have time. So I just had to stop at the Meyer Market. This is like the closest like regular grocery store that's downtown in the city because Trader Joe's was missing a few things that I needed and I still wasn't able to get everything. For that crack sauce, we need the red Thai chili, which I'm assuming you can only get at like a fancy grocery store or like some sort of Asian market. I got green chilies in a can from Trader Joe's, so I think I'm just gonna swap it out for that. I think it will be fine. And then I got garlic like paste because for the sauce, he used a garlic paste. I also got fresh garlic and I have pickled garlic in my fridge. I'm sure anything would work and be just as fine. Like the sauce is gonna be so good regardless. It's like sugar and sweet and spice and garlic. It's like pretty like hard to mess up, but I'm trying to follow it as close as possible. So I did see this in there, I picked it up. I really just went in for the red Thai chilies and fish sauce. So I got the fish sauce. The only thing we don't have is the chilies, but like I said, I got some canned ones that should work. And then I needed simple syrup for the cocktails that I'm gonna make. I think I already told you guys I'm gonna make whiskey sours. And they were all out of like a regular simple syrup, of course. They only had like mint and like weird flavors. So I'm just gonna make my own homemade simple syrup. It's just water and sugar. Um, and I think you just like do it on the stovetop for a while. So we're gonna work on that. I have a problem with like, once I have an idea, set in my mind like the steak dinner is going to take over my life because everything has to be exact and perfect and homemade and from scratch i like can't like skip out on things if it takes me an extra two hours to like get to that point i will do whatever i have to that's how i live my life it's good and bad i think <laughs> but i'm like being controlled by the steak dinner tonight which i'm totally fine with i love doing this stuff like it makes me so happy i just get so like crazy about it Last but not least i got one of these twisted craft cocktails i actually tried this for the first time when i saw it at like a farmer's market up north with my mom and she was actually going to carry them in her store this line it's a michigan brand she basically makes these like dried out cocktail mixer so this is the sweet heat one this one's my favorite this is what i had before it's lime pineapple jalapeno and citrus infused cane sugar so all you do is fill this up with your choice of tequila i think you can do any alcohol you want but this one is 
technically supposed to be tequila and tequila is my alcohol of choice so you fill this up you let it sit in your fridge for like three days and infuses the tequila so it will be like a spicy sweet tequila i've actually made my own based on this before you guys have probably seen it in vlogs and stuff from a while ago you can basically like dehydrate stuff in your air fryer and like make this at home but i saw this at the grocery store i haven't seen it there before and i haven't had this in like a year or so i picked one of these up just to have and i have leftover tequila at home so i'm gonna fill this up and have it in my fridge for the upcoming weeks it's like perfect too for just being like warmer out and spring coming i'm excited about that just a random little purchase but tonight we're gonna do whiskey drinks i've been like actually liking whiskey lately i was ordering whiskey sours in new orleans like at the bar I don't know who I am or who I think I am, but I've been really into them. I want to make like a real one at home tonight. It involves um, egg whites and stuff. So we're going to make that tonight. I'm having my friend bring the whiskey over. So I didn't have to get that. I think I have some left at home, but definitely not enough. And then I got some bottles of wine stocked up on wine at Trader Joe's, of course, because it's just so cheap. Like literally my favorite wine there is like $6. And then I got a new one that was like $10. And then I got my favorite white Riesling, which I really only drink like in the summertime. So I thought I would pick it up to have in my fridge. And that was like $5. Like, come on. Are you crazy? I have to get it. Also, let's just take another moment for my cutie little bag. It's so cute. I'm obsessed with this. You can just fit your cash, your cards, your lip gloss. My phone is usually in my hand, so I don't need to put my phone away, and it's just so cute. I love the little gold. I love the red little accent. I'm obsessed. If you guys want a cute little designer bag to complete your look for something coming up, I highly recommend you guys checking out Vivrielle again. I'm going to have all that information down below, obviously, um, but truly, it's like the best thing ever. I don't own a single designer handbag. That is not my thing. I do not have enough money to be blowing like thousands of dollars on a purse that I will wear a couple times. Even if I wore it all the time, it's just like designer stuff is so crazy to me and I like love fashion things. I'm so into it, but still like I really only buy designer if it's like vintage, but now with all these rental services, it makes it so much easier to just have like access to it and you can get something like super cool and different too. You don't have to like really think about which one you're going to buy because it's some big investment. You can really kind of have fun with it because it's just a lot lower risk, I guess, and you could take your cute photos have your cute moment and then send her back. You could get a new one. Just love how cute this is. So freaking cute. I'm obsessed with it. We are finally gonna head home. I have to get these groceries in the fridge right now. Get my flowers into some water. I'll give you guys a little haul, like I said. We'll finish this day out. I don't know if I'm gonna vlog like dinner tonight. Maybe I'll like show you guys what it looks like at the end, but I think I'm gonna have a little private evening to myself and a friend. <laughs> so. That's what's going on. Still a fan, even though it's salty. Baby, see you with some other brand. Now you happy. Baby, see you happy if I'm not the one driving. I'm so much sure. I'm so much sure. I'm so much sure. I got me a therapist. They tell me there's a thing and I can't go in there and I just want you. And I can't have you no one shirt. finally haul time i'm going to show you everything i got from trader joe's to make dinner tonight and then a few other like basic essentials i tried to stay pretty focused i already put my comfy pants on immediately it took me forever to get these groceries up here finding a parking spot all the traffic downtown it's craziness and um i used like a cart to bring all these up so i brought all the groceries up and then i went to take the cart back downstairs and literally within that like two minutes someone already spilled a beer like all over the elevator like people are going crazy the tigers unfortunately lost but it's already like close to five and the game started at one so the city is full of life and drunk people right now so i have my window open if you guys hear any craziness that's why it's finally starting to be that time of year where i just have my heat and ac off i can get a lot of fresh air in here so anyway let's do the haul so i can put all these groceries away i want to do a quick little cleanup around here pickles stop 
He's trying to scratch his face on the camera. Buddy, stop it. I need to put the groceries away, do a quick cleanup. I'm gonna like touch up my makeup um, and then do some editing and work on my computer before I start cooking later. I probably won't start dinner until like seven o'clock and the drinks, maybe I'll make the drinks with you guys. We'll see how it goes. First, I got a French baguette. I always get one of these. And I have a bunch of leftover like charcuterie stuff in my fridge. I've kind of been snacking on that all week. So that can go along with that stuff. I got honey because I realized I was out a couple days ago. I got my favorite just white gluten-free bread. I do not buy it because it's gluten-free. That does not matter to me at all. I just really like the size of it. It's like really nice small square pieces of bread and it tastes really good. It toasts really well. I got two shallots. This is for the crack sauce that I'm making tonight. Fresh garlic, of course. Three limes, also for the crack sauce. I then got seedless lemons, which is iconic. I'm gonna use these for our drinks tonight and then also just to have. I'm excited to put my produce bowl back out, fill it up with all these pretty things. I haven't had that out since I've been traveling like twice this month. Just, you know, I haven't had the big grocery run or produce bowl out in a few weeks. I'm very excited about that. It's the little things for sure. These are the green chilies that I got in place of the red Thai chili. I know it's totally different, but this is as close as we're gonna get. One bag done. I got some mushrooms as a side for tonight. I got baby Bella mushrooms and shiitake mushrooms. I want to make sure I have plenty of food, so I thought I would do a little like mushroom mixture there. This is new to me. Normally I would just buy regular broccoli, but I don't know, this just looked good and like fancy. <laughs> it's baby broccoli and it just looks a little bit different. And I feel like I've had this at restaurants before and it's always really good. So I'm gonna cook it how I normally make my regular broccoli and we will see what my thoughts are on this, but I'm pretty excited to try it. I got my cute single girl little six pack of eggs. I got some butter. I always get the unsalted and I love how Trader Joe's comes in quarters. So there's like four half sticks in here. Always get unsalted so you can really control your salt when you're cooking. You can always just add your own. My favorite bacon ever besides the stuff I get at the market. This is the no sugar dry rubbed uncured bacon. When you see it in store next to all the other bacon, this looks gross and gray and ugly but it tastes so good because this is like the real deal. I, I'm i assuming, I feel like a lot of meat in grocery stores and stuff is dyed and colors are added to it to make it like look better, but it's not even really supposed to look like that. So I love this bacon. It's not too salty, it's straight up. It's nice and thin and crispy and it's actually really cheap. So I love this bacon. Okay, for the main show for dinner tonight, I got two different options of steak because I didn't know which one to get and when you're feeding someone who eats a lot more than you, you know, I just want to be prepared. So I got two filet mignons. I'll definitely have one of these, which is really yummy. This is like a nice cut steak. And then I got a New York strip as well, just for extra meat and extra pounds going into this dinner, if you know what I mean. I then bought a jug of the um, egg whites for the whiskey sours tonight. You could totally like get it from the actual egg, but I wanna save my eggs for like my breakfast and day-to-day -day eating. So I thought I would buy some egg whites for the drinks and I can always like use this for my breakfast too to add into it. I got some white kind of creamy roses that I need to put in water ASAP. Let me just throw them in some water for now and then I'll actually prepare them. I have lots of like prepping to do in the kitchen here, so I need to figure it out. Okay, here's my Meyer stuff that I already showed you guys in the car. Fish sauce, the garlic, and my little twisted. Okay, next bag. We have cilantro for the crack sauce. We have my favorite cheese blend ever that I could literally just eat straight and I actually do just eat this straight the Parmesan Romano and Asiago cheese it just tastes like Parmesan strips but it's cheaper than getting straight Parmesan and I think this like tastes the best I love the thick strips that come in here I got three russet potatoes I'm gonna have to boil those for a good minute to make some mashed potatoes I got my half and half for coffees in the morning I got 
six of my favorite ginger shots for this next week. I try to have them like every day or as much as I can. You always know the Trader Joe's shots are the best. They're not full of crap and they are the cheapest. So don't be buying those like $8 shots that probably have like all apple juice or like yummy stuff in there that's just sugar. You have to get the ginger ones at Trader Joe's because it's strictly ginger and cayenne and they're cheap. Just an FYI. I got my chili onion crunch. This stuff is incredible. If you have not tried this, you're truly missing out. It's not very spicy. It just adds so much flavor. You can make this with your eggs. You can literally put this on anything. And I'm gonna use this in the crack sauce tonight. It doesn't call for it, but I think this is gonna blend right in there perfectly. I got the teeny tiny avocados, which I love for avocado toast. And this size of avocado is perfect, especially with the bread I buy. Everything's kind of just like a smaller size and it's not too crazy out of proportion, which is really nice when most days I'm just cooking for myself and making food for one person. I know that can always be like one of the trickiest things with grocery shopping and living on your own for the first time is portions for a single person. I then got grapes. I've been really into grapes lately. I feel like I've bought them like the past three times at the grocery store and I probably haven't bought grapes before that in like years. Trader Joe's has these seedless um, green and red grapes. What are these? Yeah, green and red seedless table grapes it says. So I've been really into these. They're a great like late night snack if I want something sweet and I'm trying to be good. Um, and they just kind of like hold that craving over. Okay, this is just my wine. I was gonna say, what else did I get? So for wine, we have my Emma Richard Dry Riesling. This is my favorite dry Riesling, favorite white. This is like $5 from Trader Joe's. It's so good. Specifically, the dry Riesling is really good and fresh and crisp. If you guys like a dry wine, I'm really not into whites as much anymore. I like strictly drink red. But for a summertime moment, like a nice cold white wine, I will go for that. Then I have my favorite red wine, favorite cab from Trader Joe's. I love this. It's a little French label. It's usually pretty easy to spot. And I think this is like $6. Okay, the last red wine that I got, this is the new one that I saw. It had like its own little section. So I usually like to try stuff out when they do a little display. This is a cab, Caretaker Wines cab. So, I like the bottle. We shall test her out tonight, probably. So, that is everything. I am going to get started on putting all this stuff away in my fridge, kind of cleaning out the fridge, doing these last few little dishes from last night, and kind of just like prepping the kitchen to cook. I feel like it saves me a lot of time when I like prep stuff and just have it all organized and ready to go. And then I can kind of like chill and focus on work for a while until I'm ready to cook later tonight. That is what's up. I'm very excited about the whiskey sours. I just realized I probably can't film whiskey sours with you because I don't have the whiskey. Um, that will be arriving later. If you guys really want to see it, if they turn out well, maybe I'll make like a TikTok because I'm definitely going to have plenty of ingredients left to make more of them. I'm going to put all this stuff away. I will talk to you guys a little bit later. I'm at that time of the day where I'm debating if I want to like shower, fully get clean and like redo my makeup, like a whole fresh start because I feel like I've already lived an entire day today, which I have. Or do I want to just like touch my makeup up? and touch everything up if you guys are like a beauty girly i feel like you know like it just doesn't hit the same when you have to do like touch-ups i love like a feeling fresh and ready like fresh makeup because i'm already feeling a little crusty and dusty i've been in a mood lately <laughs> with this camera being out i've been filming so many tiktoks i've just been like inspired to be online and that takes a lot of courage for me most days nowadays so it feels really good when I am excited to be on camera and that's why I don't shut up usually. Okay, bye. Every good girl needs a little thug. Every black boy needs a little love. You say mom. Mom, you're embarrassing me. Every good girl needs a little love. Mm -mm -mm. Girl, I'll show you too. Come here, you stinker. Me stinker. <laughs> and while I put all my groceries away, I will resume the podcast. Jeffrey Star is back in action, baby. My question is why Jack? They have really cool colors. Mm -hmm. They're yes. really fluffy. And they 
they taste delicious. A billboard ad. Yeah, <laughs> Kinky, it's a kept secret in China and Tibet. Touched up my makeup and filmed, excuse me, and filmed the sponsored section that I needed to that I needed to get done. Sorry, I'm stumbling over my words. But yeah, that is all done. I touched up my makeup and it actually looks really good right now, but I'm still feeling like gross and I really want to shower, put on like a cute comfy outfit for home and just do like a little light makeup just for like cooking and hanging out at home tonight. I don't think I'm going to go out anywhere. So I just want to be like comfy, cozy, but still cute and clean. All the groceries are put away. The dishes are done. My flowers are done. So I think that's what I decided I'm going to do. I'm going to shower, refresh it up, take this makeup off, and then just do like a really light, fresh makeup look. Maybe just like curling my lashes and like something glowy on the skin because I do have a full work day tomorrow. So I want to just be like kind of ready for bed after I am chefing it up in the kitchen. We're going all out tonight. I just don't want have to worry about a bunch of stuff after that if that makes sense it is already seven o'clock it's crazy the sun goes down at eight you guys like summer is so close the sun goes down at eight o'clock we have so much time with daylight and it makes my life so much easier as far as filming goes because i'm someone who naturally works later into the day and when i have to get filming done before four o'clock because it's pitch black outside it just like drives me crazy so it's so nice that it's seven o'clock and i still have an hour of daylight all my filming and really important work things are done so i feel good about that really <laughs> you full butt in the camera so anyway i just wanted to say hello and check in this camera like makes my makeup look perfect and it does look it looks pretty good i swear once i put lips on i'm like oh my makeup is like it's good i don't feel crusty anymore but i do feel like gross like i need to shower and i need to and then i will prep for dinner i'm not gonna start cooking until like the timing is right because that's a big thing with cooking the timing has to be perfect um, for when my guest arrives so I'm kind of just killing time now this is like so like me to be so stressed all day about timing and not getting everything done now it's seven o'clock I have everything important done I'm like I need to chill out like everything is fine even if I didn't get something done I can do it tomorrow I stress myself out for no reason buddy can you stop being a little hassle anyways those are the really exciting fun updates i do want to show you the living room let's go out in the living room and see what it looks like because i've been getting my golden hour sun back in and my flowers look really cute out there so let's go see it pickles is messing with all my packaging right there it's nice and clean in the bedroom i do have a bunch of laundry i should put away i did all my laundry yesterday it's just not put away so maybe i should do that since i have time there's always something you can be doing you guys oh it's so pretty out here oh my god it was actually a little bit brighter earlier but you guys i love my apartment so much i'm just like so grateful for it and it truly feels like my home now i mean it's honestly always felt like that since the moment i like moved in here and found this place but i've lived here for almost two years after the summer will be two years which that's why i'm so excited for the summer because i signed my lease in the fall so i had to like go through all of fall all of winter all of spring and then summer was like to enjoy at the very end and i'm just so excited that summer is coming back because summer in detroit is a whole nother vibe just like the city's exciting 
you can walk everywhere just like summer in general everyone loves the summertime but i just feel like at home here i haven't felt at home in like one place in a really really long time in my life i'm like getting really deep out of nowhere now the last time i stayed in one place for two years like strictly in one place was like when i lived at my childhood home and then once my parents got divorced, I like moved into my dad's first house and then we got a different house. I moved into that house. I was always back and forth. Then I went to college for a little bit, lived in a dorm. Then I moved back in with my mom, then back in with my dad. And then boyfriends, I was always living at their places or up at Michigan State, like hanging out there all the time. Um, I moved into that condo for a little bit. I hated that and I went back home. So it's like, I felt like I haven't had like a true my home, my own space, like a go-to place that really feels like home in like forever and this place really feels like that for me and as an adult and as someone who's single lives here on her own like it's very empowering to feel that way it's definitely still a struggle and i have to work hard every day to even like make this happen but i'm just very grateful that i have this place and it's so beautiful and it's mine and it's so i just got like so deep out of nowhere but those are my true feelings and i feel like i haven't really like said that to you guys before so just take a second today no matter where you live if you have a roof over your head and you're able to wake up every day in your own bed just be grateful for that and realize little simple things like that truly are so amazing and we should all be so lucky to have that because there's a lot of people that don't have a fraction of what we have when it comes to just necessities of life so yeah anyway I'm gonna stop being sappy and show you how beautiful my view is right now and what made me just get into that conversation because look at what I'm looking at. You guys, I'm so dramatic. Okay. I need to vacuum my floors too. <laughs> Ta-da! It's so pretty. I love the sun coming in. I get no sunlight all winter with how, you know, the sun moves and with the buildings in the city. I get the most golden hour sunlight during the spring and summer, like around dinner time, and it is just the absolute best. So we have our little produce bowl out with the sun shining on it. We have our little bar carts. We need to put that stuff away. We have our little flowers that the cats were already getting into. They love to eat the roses. The roses are like the only flowers that are really safe for cats but then they just like to tear them and eat them apart. So we have our little flowers there. Just looks so gorgeous. I do have hydrangeas over here, but it hasn't ever really affected them. So I think it's okay. A beautiful plant up there and the disco ball is shining. It just looks so beautiful. And oh, even the sunshine all the way back there. Hey buddy. Look at you, dude. That's amazing, buddy. Come up here. Such a good listener. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Come here, Pickles. Come here. Give me a kiss. Hi. Hi, buddy. Hi. Hi, sweetie. Get that shadow out of the shot. All right, you guys, I feel like this vlog has already been so, so long and I've had such a good time vlogging today. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I think I'm going to end it here. And then if I take any cute little aesthetic clips tonight of drinks and dinner and all of that, which actually I definitely will take those. I will put those in at the end of this. So you can see the vibes that I curate tonight and the wonderful dinner that I'm going to make. I'm manifesting that it turns out great. But I'm going to jump in the shower and just kind of get myself ready chill out for the evening until i have to start cooking so thank you guys so much for watching and being here and being so sweet all the time like truly i love you guys so 
much every single one of you if you're not subscribed to this channel click that subscribe button so you guys know when i'm posting follow me on other socials at emily jean beauty on tiktok and instagram comment down below what you have been feeling grateful for recently it can be super simple or it can be something extravagant just let's leave our comments down below what we're feeling grateful for mine is definitely my beautiful apartment that truly feels like my home to me i love you guys and i will see you in my next video